French piano teacher Caroline suffers from a rare genetic disease called Stargardt syndrome. First diagnosed when she was six, the condition has progressively led to a loss of her vision. As a classified rare disease, it can be risky for Caroline to travel abroad when treatment for the disorder can be difficult. One day I had an allergic reaction to a very strong product and so I went to accident and emergency. Of course, they quickly realized I couldn't see anything. But it was really complicated to explain everything so that they had all the information. Although specialists at Strasbourg University Hospital have been managing Carolyn's condition, these types of illnesses can be immensely challenging for doctors due to the low number of cases. But what actually constitutes a rare disease? It's a condition that affects less than one in 2,000 people. More than 6,000 different rare pathologies have been identified to date. Rare diseases currently affect an estimated 30 million people in Europe and 300 million worldwide. When it comes to treating these types of diseases, sharing knowledge is key. The new European Health Data Space, launched in May this year, aims to do just that. In the case of rare pathologies, the exchange of clinical information currently takes place via the European reference networks. These connect healthcare specialists across Europe, allowing them to share information and treatments. Already 97% of people suffering from such conditions are willing for their health data to be shared. If a patient arrives at a centre which is part of the network, their file will be shared thanks to a tool called the Case Patient Management System. This enables a patient's clinical data to be shared between experts of a rare disease and allows them to make recommendations. In Belgium, Ghent University's Medical Research Centre produces a huge volume of clinical data every day. Researchers say this sharing of high-quality information is vital when it comes to efficient care for patients with rare diseases. One of the challenges in Europe is the access to healthcare for rare diseases. If there are good registries of patients with rare diseases with international data sharing and access to these registries, then this is a unique treasury because we connect with clinical experts and also laboratory experts, also with researchers to come to the best possible healthcare. In addition to sharing data, Online virtual clinics have made it much easier for experts to share their knowledge with colleagues across Europe. The benefits for patients would be that very difficult cases are uh, shared and discussed by international experts from within the EU. And together we obviously are much more powerful in our knowledge and much more knowledgeable to finally provide better care for the patient. The European Health Data Space should empower better cross-border access to medical information and research, creating a global knowledge network and significantly improving care for patients with rare diseases.